All right, blue corner is entering first. Asa Rashid. He's coming in from the blue corner. Now, one of the one of the good things about Asa Rashid is um, he's one of the uh, trainers here. Trains with uh, Yusuf. He's five foot five, 27 years old. Right. Not much is known about Asa. We know his coach Yusuf, also uh, uh, a friend of KHK MMA, one of the uh, longtime MMA practitioners here in Bahrain. Now he's gonna he's gonna have a tough uh, competition against um, uh, against Hamid Matar because both of these fighters have known each other, they've trained with each other, they know each other's skill sets. Uh, so it, I'm I'm very curious to see as to who's gonna show up tonight. Right. Really interesting to see how this plays out, and uh, sometimes you get guys who have who've trained with each other a lot, and it just looks like they're doing a sparring match in there, right. um, kind of falling into an old pattern. So we'll see if uh, they come out with some fireworks or uh, if they have a little slow start. We'll see. We'll definitely see. All right, well, this is Haman Matar. Uh, tell us a little bit about him. You know the Bahrain MMA guy as well. That's right, yeah. Uh, Haman Matar is going to come out here. Um, he's a taller fighter. He enjoys uh, jiu-jitsu. Uh, that's, that's one of his uh, favorite pastimes. But uh, he's also one of those natural fighters that just likes to throw hands. So I, 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 I expect him, I expect Hamid to come in, try to keep this fight on the feet, to try to use his reach uh, for his advantage to the much shorter uh, Issa. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm, uh, is, I've seen both these guys train with each other. Um, it's it's who comes out with the better with the better fighting plan. Right, and in this level of competition, sometimes it's just the fighter with the superior mindset, a little bit of extra aggressiveness that can carry through carry you through a fight. That's right, and right now they're putting in his uh, Vaseline, that's kind of the uh, prevent any any early injuries to the fight, any er early cuts that will... They're just unnecessary, you know. You want to um, apply not too much because we don't want to affect the uh, grappling uh, uh, characteristics of a fight and making their, uh, the fighter slippery, but you definitely don't want a dry glove hitting a dry face and just opening up a fighter. That's, um, yeah, opening up a cut and, kind of, and, and it would really just end a, a good fight, what could potentially be a very exciting fight. Right. So that's why they put uh, Vaseline on their faces uh, before entering the cage. Here we are, looks like we're about to get ready to start. All right, both fighters looking actually uh, pretty calm and ready. Let's see how this one goes. All right, now the trick is here for this, for Hamid is to keep, uh, this, keep standing. That's his, that's gonna be his key to this fight. And the key for Issa Rasid is to keep him down and do some ground and pound. So let's see who shows up. Perfect time to hold these fights outside in Bahrain. The weather's beautiful, uh, nice and cool, 70 degrees. Oh, Whoa, like high nice kick high early. Kick from Hamid. All right, letting him know that he's here. And there's that takedown. He doesn't want, he doesn't want uh, any piece of this guy's reach. Oh, oh very nice overhand. Beautiful to a single leg takedown. Nice sweep nice by Hamid. Still and holding on to that double. Esa is on top. That's okay. So this is this is where Esa want, Esa wants to be. He wants to be on top and start delivering some punches from here. And he's past the half guard, so he's showing his his knowledge in grappling. And um, Esa is, is is looking to control this match early, especially after watching that high kick nearly whizzed by uh, his head early on. I think he did get a little bit uh, intimidated by that high kick, huh, Pete? You gotta watch, uh, you know, with a guy with a reach advantage like that and throwing strikes like that earlier, you, you know, uh, you gotta you gotta do something about that. You can't stay out at his range and, and uh, stay in that danger zone. Looks like Issa's going in for a, a head and arm, so he's trying to trap that head and the arm, to, and that's going to do a blood choke that's gonna hopefully make the fighter tap out. Uh, but Hamid got out of it, and now we're still in, in uh, half guard. Uh, S is looking to uh, maybe work some ground and pound here. 
it looks like he's trying uh, for submissions, um, so he's definitely comfortable with with his uh, ground game. Um, it's action stalling a little bit here. The guys are, are looking to. There we go. So Hammond's now what Hammond needs to do is he needs to get his his left hand underneath his his opponent's armpit and get up. So as you can see, he's trying to tripod on on his uh, right arm, but he, he just can't seem to get his position. Yeah, this is using good ground control. He's keeping his weight over uh, uh, Hamad and and really just preventing him from sliding out from underneath him. That's right. Look, he's trying to escape on his left side, uh, but he just doesn't have the his hand underneath underneath his his, uh, his opponent's uh, right arm. That's going to just make it really incredibly difficult to to try to escape while holding on. To and his Essa head. just passed to full side control, so. He's in good position now to work even more submissions and uh, continue with that striking game. That's right. Hamid seems to be just getting into a big load of trouble here, uh, just finding himself in a worse position as the round continues. Yeah, how many needs to get that hand underneath his armpit? He, right now, it's it's. Uh, he's having it's, a little. He's yeah, having he, a little trouble creating space to to uh, throw some strikes. Um, He's staying, you know, really focusing on the control aspect, and that's uh, going to end the, the round. That's the, that's the end of the round. So hopefully uh, we get to see Hamid come in again with more aggressive on the stand-up and be able to defend that takedown. But that round definitely goes to, to, to Issa. Yes. You know, that reach advantage um, isn't going to do you any good when you're on your back um, if you're a striker. And so really uh, Hamad really needs to work on that takedown defense, keep it on the feet, and look to... Um, Let's hit him with some with some big shots. Like we're cutting right back into the action here in round number two. Uh, this bout is scheduled for three three minute rounds. Well, you know, I like Essa's uh, head movement. You know, uh, he's he's definitely not just uh, standing in front of him. There's that and kick. there's that that same takedown. You know, um, you gotta wonder. This is this is where these guys learn strategy. You know. Uh, he didn't learn from the first round that that, that body kick w uh, w got him in trouble. And it happened again in the, in the beginning of That's this right. second round. Yeah, it looks like we're back at it again now. It looks like Hamid could stand up again, but he's, he's, uh, he's holding on to that head. And uh, that's going to, oh, it looks like we're going into a, for a guillotine from uh, Isa. He might be able to finish it right here. He's got a hold of the head. Dropping back with it. He's got the half guard. He's he doesn't have full guard, but he still has enough to possibly finish this. Oh, it's really hard from the half guard. What uh, Isa needs to do is wrap his both of his heads around his body, around uh, Hama's body to be able to finish that choke. But it looks like he lost it now. And that's going to be uh, typical for, for that position. So... Trying to get back up to the feet is Essa looking to reestablish some control. Nice knee to the bodies, where, which are completely legal. Uh, they're illegal to the head. Nice delivery from Hamid. Looks like definitely Hamid's stand-up has uh, definitely gotten way better. Uh, but uh, we need to work on his ground game uh, to be able to, uh, to win this fight. Right. Good defense of the... Uh, uh, looks like we have a, an illegal shot. And uh, looks like he's ready to go. All right, we're back in action, Pete. All right, we'll see if uh, Ahmad chooses to throw another body kick. Maybe work the hands a little bit more, work that long jab. There's that long jab, like long reach advantage that he's uh, taking advantage of it now. Good, good overhand right. Yeah, really, really catching him on the end of his punches. Um, he's finding his range. Yeah. We'll yeah. see if Essa can uh, look to take him down as he's, it looks to be a little more conservative, a little bit more cautious with his striking right now. But well, it looks like Issa is definitely looking for the counter uh, to counter his, uh, his overreach of Hamid so he can get underneath and go for that for that takedown. 
Yeah, for Essa, it's all about closing the distance. And, you know, the more he stays out at this range, he's going to eat those jabs, uh, eat possibly a big right hand. There's that high kick from Hamid. You know, there he is. He's got that. He's got his range down, so we'll, we'll look to see Essa look, get for it. Going for a takedown here. I'd like to see more combinations coming in from Hamid, but uh, uh, it looks like he he looks might be even a little bit gassed out here uh, for spending all that time on the ground. That's a possibility too. You know, if you're really uh, comfortable at striking and, and you're not really focused on that ground game, it can really tire your arms out and your your punches really become less effective. Now there's a big overhand right from Essa and almost connected right there against Hamid. It was just grazing. There's the end of the second round, and we move into our break for our third and final round of the bout. Well, what do you think about that round? Who do you think uh, won that? Uh, clearly, the first round went to S uh, uh, Isa. This one, you know, I might have given that to um, Hamad. You know, it's a it's a pretty close round. Uh, I, I I I believe the it was. Uh, I don't think Hamad created enough damage or enough points on the stand-up to really make a, a definitive point on, uh, on winning that, that round. Uh, I still ha I would have to lean a little bit more on Issa's side because he was able to take him down. Uh, he went for that guillotine choke as well. Uh, yes. And that's up to that point is where, where he kind of lost it a little bit because uh, Hamid ended up on top. What would you be telling Issa right now in his corner? You know, uh, closing the distance. Close the distance, get uh, uh, Hamad to the ground where he's been winning the fight. You know, uh, at this point in the fight, fighters may be getting a little tired. Takedowns require a lot of energy, so, you know, uh, fighters tend to be a little more uh, hesitant to initiate a takedown, but this is where it counts. This is the third round. You really want to win that last round, and this is it. This is we'll where see, it's We'll it. see okay. if he's coming out. Um, with some aggressive... Well, let's see if Hamad is able to defend the takedown and keep his reach as the advantage. Oh, huge overhand right from Essa. So that's that's really exciting to see. Uh, really break, come, closing in the distance and coming in for that overhand right. Yeah, it's good to, you know, it, 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 strikes like that are going to set up your takedowns. If a, if a fighter has to worry about eating a right hand or a left hand, they're going to have that... There's that takedown attempt. Momentary hesitation. Easy nails it. There he is. He's on the ground. So, good work by Essa. How many to get that his left hand underneath his opponent's right arm to be able to actually scoop out of position and get the weight off of him? Now he's. It's hard to stand up when when you're holding onto a fighter's head. You can see his corner yelling to uh, to get his elbows in and get onto his right hip. Yeah, he hasn't had any success yet of advancing his position um, from this half guard. So we'll look at oh, Good control here. Excellent. That's now what here comes you want to do. Punishment coming in from Isa. He's got that arm trapped. As you can see, you know, controlling that arm from the side mount with the legs allowed him to really rain down some punches. But uh, Hamad was was quickly out of that. He didn't like that position. Definitely did not like that position at all. And again, here we are. He's holding on to that head, which he should be doing, is getting underneath the, his opponent's uh, right hand and trying to scoot out and staying on his right hip. He's got a shrimp. You see with his arms up, or with, excuse me, his legs up in the air, they are not doing much. And so you can see a little bit of uh, lack of lack of knowledge on the ground by you know, keeping the feet up in the air where they are not useful. You want to keep those feet either sneaking in like he's doing now, getting a knee inside. Again with the, tra the arm trapped. Or and with a bridge and roll, hey, look just that. like looks that. He's got an excellent sweep, took advantage of uh, Issa's overcommitment. Yeah, good bridge by Hamad to uh, you know, take advantage of, of Issa getting a little too high centered on him and, and went right over. Excellent. So now looks like Hamid is just kind of trying to regroup. Took some some heavy punches in that in that exchange, and now they are fighting off uh, this ground game. And really, at this point, you got to assume that he's lost the first two rounds. So he really needs to look for a submission or a KO on the feet uh, to to win this fight. 
It looks like he is trying to go for an arm bar. It looks like now Issa's got a half guard now. He's trapped that, that single leg on the... Uh, which kind of prevents the fighter from a little bit of damage, but uh, Hamid's definitely... Oh, that's it. That's the end of the fight. That's it. Those three minutes go by fast. This is an amateur fight, so we're looking at three-minute rounds, not the professional uh, length of five-minute rounds. Yeah, so I would definitely have to go, and, and uh, we still have to wait for the official judges' scorecards, uh, but uh, definitely have to lean more towards Isa on this fight. He, he was able to control the fighter on the ground uh, and deliver some attempts, at least with the jiu-jitsu aspect. Yeah, and really control the action overall, you know. Um, you know, not not counting a few uh, good uh, jabs and a um, couple of really near misses with that high kick, um, it was really all Essa. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, and you know what? This is the beginning of their, their it's an early career for both these fighters. They're both very young. Um, really, uh, this is a journey that that will take them to man. as far as they would like to to take this to. And uh, it's really good experience. A lot of time in the cage in front of a lot of people. And uh, this is exactly why uh, we're, we're doing this this competition out here. Well, you got a lot of eyes, you know, watching this event, as you can see. So hopefully, this is, you know, uh, inspiring a few people and getting some some interest for the sport and, and uh, maybe the next generation of talent coming into this event. I'm sure there's a future champion standing right there. Uh, watching uh, these G fighters go at it, and, uh, and I'm just excited for for the future here of mixed martial arts in Bahrain. Here we yep. are with the official announcement. All right, we're waiting for the judges' tally. A lot happening on this day, this uh, sports day for for the nation of Bahrain. All right, unanimous decision for Asa. Good job. And Good really, uh, you know, everyone saw it the same way. It looks like they gave one round to Hamad, but it wasn't enough to um, win this win this match.